Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this last video, uh, we will talk about some features present under the Tools tab. And for this video in particular, we will cover primers and sequence alignment. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you would like to design primers, you can use the program to do so if you wish to highlight a certain sequence and find the primer for it. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll just look at the entire sequence for primers and we'll see what we have. So let's go and find primers. Here you can look at place a certain sequence and adjust the length of the primers you would like as well as the melting temperature and the GC content. We'll just have the program look for plasmid for primers at various locations. So here you get the primer sequences, the five prime to three prime from start starting point to ending point. Here you have the length of the primer and the GC content which affects the annealing of the, the primer and the melting temperature as well. So you can use that for primer design or you can also use, I think there's a, a calculator of some sorts online for designing primers if I remember correctly. I'm not really sure about that. And then finally we have the sequence alignment and I had to do that once in my research. Uh, after I modified my plasmid, I wanted and cutting at certain points with restriction enzymes and then adding sequences. I wanted to make sure that the seams ligated properly. So I sent my plasmid to Toronto for sequencing and then the sequencing results were compared with the the the, the estimated uh, modification performed on ape so my professor suggested a program called clustal xl but i discovered that this program also performs alignment as well so what you can do is you open the open both sequences that you wish to align for comparison. For this window, I just, uh, <clears throat> as you can see here, I used the same plasmid. I just saved it under a different name just to show you how this tool works. So in the window of the, the second plasmid or the second sequence, while both windows are open, you click tools, then align two sequences then make sure that in one window is one sequence and the other window is the other sequence and then hit OK and you get this diagram that shows you the top part of one plasmid or one sequence and the, the bottom lane is the, the sequence of the other plasmid and it compares it to identify mismatching and as you can see, there are zero mismatches. So this tool is quite convenient for identifying mismatches when you modify plasmids uh, through restriction digestion and you wish to see if the seams ligated properly or if there was a problem. Once you send your resu results for sequence, you can use this tool to identify if the ligation went smoothly or not. We won't need this. We'll close this. And finally, uh, if you wish to present the plasmid sequence in the on the complementary strand, what you can do is go to Edit and hit Reverse Complement, and it gives you the strand on the uh, the the sequence on the complementary strand. And thankfully, because we because we chose the uh, the colors of the uh, the original strand the same as the one on the reverse strand except for this i forgot to do that one you can easily identify on the complementary strand where each 
<coughs> feature or each landmark is. If you wish to return, simply go to reverse complement. And that's it for the APE tutorial series of videos. I hope they were of benefit to you. Please, if you have any comments or feedback regarding the videos or regarding the information mentioned, please go ahead and comment below so that I can learn from my mistakes and I can also learn from you different tools and different techniques present in the program. If you know of a better program or a different program for plasmid mapping, or if you know a different series of video tutorials that could benefit people, please post them in the comments below so that we can all learn and benefit together. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.